Yeah, girl. Stuff your face without rudders. I get it. I get it. I understand. I just had rudders last night. What's up, everybody? Hold on. I'm passing a buggy. Horse and buggy. What's up, everyone? How you doing today? My name is David DeFranco, and welcome back to the weekend of Vlog TV Vlog. I'm your host, David DeFranco. It's raining leaves. Where are these leaves coming from? I know, a tree. But there's no big tree over there. Maybe there's a tree in heaven looking down on me during this tough, tough time. And by that, I mean, I think I'm getting sick. I was working in Philly this week for a couple days. Good times, good times. Patrons, enjoy that exclusive vlog, baby. And I think I may have caught something while I was there. Um, so I'm going out real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna use common sense. I'm gonna sanitize, uh, but I'm gonna go to Goodwill. I know it's like one of the dirtiest places you could go to, but I always sanitize after that, you know. And then I'm gonna hit up Target. If a COVID test is cheap enough, I know you can get them free other places, but I don't know where to go right now. If it's cheap enough at Target today, then I'm gonna buy myself one and do an instant COVID test when I get home, because my friend Joey is set to come over tomorrow. Uh, but I gave him a warning. I'd be like, just to warn you, I came back from Philly. I'm not feeling too good. I might have COVID. I don't know yet. I'm going to take a test tomorrow because I have tests coming from Amazon tomorrow. Uh, but if I can take a test today, that, that, that would be even better, you know? I just feel achy, you know? My, my throat feels a little scratchy. I feel stuffy, which isn't saying much because I'm always stuffy. Um, but it's the aches that concerned me. Now, granted, I actually did a lot of physical labor this week working in Philly. Man, guys, I walked about six miles in one day. That right there is a good workout. And I had some good meals. We had Cheesecake Factory. We had a place called Chicks, like burgers and fries and all that stuff. Like the thickest burger I've had in a very, very long time. Um, and actually, I posted a picture of that thick burger on my Discord. Guys, if you're not on my Discord, what are you doing? Check it out. It's a 24-7 chat where you can post pictures and videos and text of anything you want from holidays to your pet pics to food pics to your introductions about yourself, you know? Uh, but anyway, getting back on track, I might have the vid. Um, and if I do have the vid, well, I gave Joey a warning um, and he's not going to come over tomorrow if I have it. But if I test negative, then he'll come over tomorrow. And I usually do movie night on Saturday nights on my live kick streams, kick.com slash David Franco. <laughs> Look at that right below. It's Guys, it's linked. Check it out. Um, and I think I'm going to watch Anchorman. But the thing is, instead of tomorrow, I think I'm going to do movie night tonight because movie night, Joey, I love you, but movie night with a co-host is kind of awkward because you have to fit everyone in frame. Joey, I'm not calling you big or anything, you know? Um, but two people on one microphone and outputting two different sources of audio on two different sets of headsets and working that in with a dual PC setup on OBS. Hold on. Oh. Mom says attachment. One image. It's an image. I, I, I can't view them on my Tesla for safety reasons, you know? Um, it's, it's probably a picture of mom's hot dog. She went to Sheets for lunch, which she like never does. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to do movie night tonight. So that way tomorrow night, if Joey does come over, then we can just do a an IRL stream, sitting down, talking to chat about whatever. Mom says, yup, just one. And it's so tiny. Adorable. Who calls a hot dog adorable? Yep. Sauerkraut and mustard. Mustard and sauerkraut. Yo, Sheets has really, really good hot dogs. Anyway, the whole stream thing aside, today's agenda, I'm going to hit up Goodwill because I need my fix. I haven't been to Goodwill since Monday. Um, and then I'm going to go to Target. Probably get some White Castle burgers. Easy dinner tonight. Shout out to my friend Logan. <clears throat> I heard him talking about the uh, frozen White Castle burgers on a recent kick stream of his that I watched while I was in Philly. Yeah, I've had them before. But I actually agree, Logan. They're, they're quite good for what they are. And if I need an easy dinner at home tonight, then I'm going to get those. Because I'm not, I'm not going back out. I just don't feel like going back out. Uh, then after Target, I think I'm going to go to McDonald's. Get a hot and spicy McCrispy. That's like my new obsession, guys. It's only $3, too. It's so cheap. And of course, I'll get fries or McNuggets on the side. 
Because I do need food. It's already 2.30. Why is the heat on, David? It's 55... It's not 55 degrees out, Tesla. You're wrong. It's 64 degrees out. That's a big difference. That's a huge difference, Elon Musk. Come on, get it together, baby. Get it together. Da -da 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 -da. And then after McDonald's, obviously, I'm going to go home and chill. Stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. There you go. By the way, I just want to address a recent comment. I mean, I deleted it because I didn't like that comment. You know, it's, it's not a an accurate reflection of me and my character. Uh, someone said, David, you're so negative when driving. I'm not negative. I'm extremely alert. I call people out on their BS when I see it. And guys, I am surrounded by bad drivers every single day. Like, look at this. Look, I look in my mirror. I change lanes. That's how you do it. Now I'm going to pass all these cars, and the probability of someone cutting me off into my lane is pretty high right now, so I'm being extremely defensive. So no, I'm not negative. If anything, I'm a very enthusiastic driver. You do something stupid, I call you out. If, and if you're a good driver, I respect you. Simple as that. There's a fine line between being realistic and being negative, and I am definitely not a negative individual. I am always a glass half full kind of guy. I, I, I try to see the best in people, the best in situations. Um, you know, I mean, like anytime something bad happens, I always try to look at the um, the greener side of the fence. I know that's not the exact phrase, but you, got, you guys get what I'm saying. You stay in your lane, you stay in your lane. All right, everything's good. Mom again? Mom says amazing hot dog. So tender. Damn, Mom, you inhaled that wiener. All right, all right. All right. Damn. <laughs> or I don't know if she ate the whole thing yet. See, I told you, Mom. Guys, shout out to Sheets. Sheets has really, really good hot dogs. Cheap, too. You can literally get a hot dog for like a dollar, plus tax, of course. Yo, AMT is packed. That explains the traffic. Uh, the Christmas show is back in town because it is that time of year. I'm not in the Christmas spirit yet because I want to get through ho <laughs> through Halloween through Thanksgiving first and then I'll go full on Christmas for example I think next Friday I'm gonna I'm gonna put my tree up all right now let's see if this person will kindly let me into this lane you gonna let me in thank you see I'm a positive driver <laughs> you don't need to be a douchebag let's go whoa buddy Whoa! Dude's using the crosswalk at the wrong time. All right. I'll see you guys in Goodwill. I feel a little sick, but uh, I'm alive, you know? I'm in a much, much better situation than other people around the world. And that's how you have to look at things. Honestly, guys, if I'm sick, I don't give a flying pancake, you know? I'm, I'm gonna chill in bed with my MacBook Pro and just get work done. I mean, I've, I've been meaning to post some blog posts on, on my new website. And that's my excuse to chill in bed. Anytime I'm sick, I'm like, hell yeah. Let's sit in bed and be productive. Of course, I'll still stream tonight. Because I need my fix, guys. I, I really do need my chat room fix. I miss you guys. And I'm not just saying that. Like, I legit love talking to my chat room. <laughs> But I am lightheaded right now. So, David, you idiot. I have issues parking in this parking lot. I can never park in this center the first time. So let's fix that. Hey yeah, guys, enjoy the weekend at Monocacy Vlog. Also, shout out to everyone enjoying my VHS transfer videos. So many comments, guys. So many positive comments, and I love you for that. And trust me, there is plenty more where that came from, guys. I have so many videos on the horizon. I'm just getting started. All right, let's go inside. Realistically speaking, I'm not going to find anything because it's 2.30 on a Friday. In other words, payday for a lot of people. Uh, so it's going to be busy. But hey, it never hurts to look. All right, checking media. I didn't really find anything. Madden 21, no. Uh, but there are some games up front in the glass case. I didn't see anything too good. But then again, I didn't really look at it too too closely. 
My mom's obsessed with them. <laughs> Mom, you are a hot dog queen. Anyway, uh, yeah. Like I said, I don't think I want to find anything. And that's okay. That's okay. It's just just nice to get out of the house for a little bit. Even though I was in Philly for a couple days, but that's okay. You know what? Let's go check those carts. It's actually not that busy. Got a little bit of media on this cart. Just music CDs, Blu-ray, and a DVD. All right. Obviously, I'm always in the lookout for video games. Over here, there's not much. Just a bunch of books. But still, it's exciting because you never know what they're going to bring out. For example, over here. Excuse me. More books. Actually, some DVDs. But nothing for me now. There's plenty of DVDs. But again, nothing for me. Yeah, just a bunch of movies. Nothing, as expected. And that's okay. That's okay. It's not a big deal. I just won't pay my mortgage this month, you know? I'm just kidding. Uh, no, but seriously. Nothing. Uh, I just want to go to Target, guys. I feel so lightheaded. And plus, I need food. That might be why I'm lightheaded. I've had nothing to eat. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Freeze, everybody. Sanitize. Don't get comfortable, guys. Don't get comfortable. It may be called COVID-19, but look at it as COVID-23. Can't believe it's been four years already. That's... <laughs> guys, time is flying. Speaking of time flying, Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Of course, by the time you see this, Thanksgiving is already done. But yes, happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching, if, if you celebrate that is. But either way, Thanksgiving to me is every single day. Be thankful for what you have and who you have in your life. Especially who. Who is so much more important than what. But what could also apply to things like your house. You know, your, your, your shelter, your food, and uh, things that help you get throughout your day. For instance, this. My, my GoPro. This camera is absolutely terrible. I hate GoPro as a brand these days. Um, <laughs> I know GoPro is never going to sponsor me again, right? And yes, they have sponsored me in the past, but, um, yeah, I mean, I I'm so thankful to pick up this camera every single day and just talk to you guys, whether you're patrons or non-patrons or whatever. I just love talking to you throughout my day because I'm self-employed. I don't have a lot of social interaction with people every single day besides my family and friends or texting and whatever and discord and stuff like that. But I get to talk to even more people because of the power of the internet through my GoPro and YouTube and my live streams on Kick and stuff like that. I'm just thankful. You know, I, I really I really am thankful. But I'm also thankful for food. So let's just get to Target. Let's buy those White Castle burgers. Maybe a COVID kit. Only if it's cheap. If it's a cheap kit. Realistically speaking, I'm not looking to spend more than 10 or $12 because, again, I already have some tests coming from Amazon tomorrow. Um, but it doesn't hurt to have more tests in the house, so... Let's go. Wish me luck. And then McDonald's. COVID tests and cheeseburgers acquired. As well as some cereal and cookies. I mean, I, I can't just go in there and buy what I actually came here for, right? That's not the target way. The rule is to always buy more than you came for. Plus, I needed cereal in the house. And uh, cookies for a movie night tonight. Anchorman, baby. Great movie. I'd rather do movie night tomorrow night, but again, the whole Joey thing, it just makes it awkward with the audio and whatever. Uh, but it's okay. It's okay. We can do it tonight. But yeah, guys, I got I got my COVID test for $8. That's, that's not bad. It's not bad for needing it right now, you know? Uh, so, I'll let you know how that goes. All right, next stop, McDonald's, which I don't usually do on Fridays, right? Not too often, no. So get ready. We're already in... McDonald's acquired. However, I would like to uh, correct myself. 15 minutes to home, I know. Thank you, Apple Watch. Isn't technology great? I believe I said before it's called the Hot and Spicy McCrispy. It's not. All right, guys? It's a completely different sandwich. Hot and Spicy McChicken. Also, 
I've joked about this in the Pigeons Only vlog. There's this lady here who always yells my name. David, order for David. She like announces it to the whole place, even though I'm standing right there. But I like her. She's really nice. It's it's just always funny to me. Anyway, I finally. Whoa, 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 whoa. I finally managed to um, capture the audio. So let me see here. It's towards the end. Here we go. <clears throat> That's me clearing my throat. Right here. David, order for David. That's me, thank you. You too, thanks. <laughs> David, order for David. David, order for David. That's me, thank you. Jesus Christ, says. She's so dramatic with that, but I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna crop that and save it. She has no idea I recorded her too. That's what makes it pretty cool. David, order for David. David, order for David. That's yep, trim, trim baby. And I'm going to title this order for David, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Me, thank you. Alright, that's getting annoying. Guys, it's just simple things in life. Okay. I got my hot and spicy McChicken and for free, I forgot to tell you this, for free, yes, I could have gotten free fries for free fry Friday. Set up five times fast. Free fry Friday, free fry Friday, free fry Friday, free fry Friday, free fry Friday. Is this week's vlog annoying yet? A little bit, yes. Anyway, I got a free six piece McNugget. Because why not? All right, I'm going to keep listening to my podcast. See you at home. In the second stage of this Cambrian explosion of AI. And I'm home. Good, Trina. Laugh at me again because I can't make a basket. <laughs> Eight holiday chocolate hacks on my Echo. Hmm, okay, okay. Also, shout out to my mom for checking up on the cast this week while I was in Philly. Um, she was nice enough to put two Christmas-themed air fresheners. What's up, Mal? In my, in my house. So every time I walk into my house, it just smells like Christmas. All right, Target Hall got me some Roos's Puffs. White Castle Burgers. So honestly, guys, that's probably my dinner tonight. Nice and easy. I ain't going out. Verona strawberry cookies for my stream. Either tonight or tomorrow. It depends on when movie night is. And the COVID test. This is only one test. So I have to get it right the first time. I think I'll do this after I eat. Yeah, yeah. Let me enjoy my food, guys, all right? Give me space. Got my hot and spicy McChicken. And... Six piece McNugs with a side of tangy barbecue sauce. Sauce, as Charlotte says. That right there is a nice basic lunch. Wish me luck. It should be negative because I peeked at it already. Yep. I am COVID negative, but I'm not going by this. So I was looking at the packaging. It says, ignore the expiration date on the box. So I was like, okay. Um, so I'm looking at the pouch, you know, the actual pouch on the inside. And keep in mind, I opened it already. I mean, like I opened up the actual packaging. It said expiration dates, February 22nd or something like that, 2023. So this is almost a year old. So I don't trust this. I don't trust this. Target, you sold me an out of date, an expired, an old COVID test. I feel like that should be illegal, especially from a large corporation such as Target. No, I'm not gonna go back there to get my money back. It's, it's whatever. Um, but still, Target, what are you doing? What are you doing? So I'm not going by that test. So I'm still gonna wait on the test coming tomorrow from Amazon, uh, so. As of right now, 
I'm negative. I think I'm going to be negative, honestly. I don't, I don't feel really bad. I just feel tired, you know, from working this week. But I'll be honest with you. My dad got home from Philly and he tested positive for COVID. But he already was sick going there and we didn't know it was COVID. We just thought it was a cold. Uh, so spending time with him for the, what, two to three days that I was there, I figured, you know what? My probability of getting COVID is extremely high. Well, look at me now. I'm COVID negative, at least according to this out of date <laughs> COVID test. So again, I'll have to wait until tomorrow. It is what it is. But as of right now, it's all good, baby. All right, I'm going to drink my coffee. Hopefully get some work done. I say hopefully because I kind of just want to chill uh, because I've had a busy week. But I'm watching a movie called Rushed. But at the same time, I also want to blog on uh, Squarespace. So I don't know. I'm trying to decide. Relax or work? I could probably do both. All right. It is 8.57 p.m. I just woke up from a nap. I slept for about two hours. I had a really weird dream. It felt so real to the point where in the dream, I ended up rage quitting my stream. And I got a text from Joey because Joey's been on my mind since he's potentially coming over tomorrow, but that's canceled. More on that in a bit. Anyway, even Joey texted me in my dream saying, hey, bro, you all right? <laughs> really weird dream, just, uh, but anyway, long story short, I woke up, I had some White Castle sliders for dinner, easy cheap dinner, food is food, you know? Uh, but now I can feel my throat <clears throat> getting scratchy and that's not good. I I'm telling you, I don't trust that COVID test. And I think I am going to get a refund on that. Uh, hey, it's $8. $8 is $8. You know, I mean, I can use that money for sheets or whatever, you know? Uh, so I'll probably go there early next week. My nose is definitely a little itchier. Because I'm telling you, that, that negative test, I don't trust it. The fact that it was expired kind of says everything, you know? <clears throat> and hey, if it turns out to be a cold, then it turns out to be a cold. It's the weekend anyway. I don't really have any plans. I'm just going to... Make some coffee, which I probably don't need right now. I should probably be, probably be drinking more water, which I am. I'm drinking plenty of water, uh, but I'm going live on kick. So we are going to do movie night tomorrow night. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. The weekend vlog is not over, but I am going live and I'm gonna be busy for the rest of the night. I'm gonna try to get some blogging done because I ended up relaxing and not working. Sometimes I gotta tell myself, David, stop working. You don't need to be productive. Scale back and take a nap. And I'll tell you, that was a good nap. That was a good nap. All right. I'll see you tomorrow for day two. And ignore the hair. My, my hat's upstairs. My beanie. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Saturday. I hope you're enjoying the vlog. It is not 3.50. I have not changed my clocks yet because I'm very lazy when it comes to that. It's 2.53. I would look at my nest, but I'm currently doing a countdown for my real COVID test, which expires in February of 2025. Much better. Okay, so far we have that solid line on the C, which is obviously good, uh, but it's way, way too early to tell. We have 12 minutes and 50 seconds to go. And guys, I will tell you, hi Zero, I felt so weak last night going to bed. Okay, so part of that could have to do with the fact that I stopped my stream around 3 a.m. because I was working on my website for a little bit on my MacBook Pro. And by working, I mean, I wasn't really working all that much. I started a blog post, but I was watching movies in the background. You know, I love watching movies in bed and down here, and that's exactly what I'm about to do. I'm a chill today, but I'm still gonna work um, a little bit. Anyway, shout out to everyone who joined last night. We, we had so many people join my Discord for voice chat for doing Modern Warfare 3. Guys, I played Modern Warfare 3 for like six hours straight. Actually, it was to the point where I was literally dreaming about the game this morning. And while well, I'm not gonna lie, I'm excited to play it again tonight. Um, also, we're watching Anchorman tonight. I'm excited about that. Hi, Gizzy Wizzy. But all right, I'm gonna make some coffee. I know that's not the best thing to have when you're sick, but nothing's gonna stop me from having coffee. I'm just peeking real quick. No second line yet, but we still got 11 minutes to go, so. That's it's not accurate. Coffee! Smell it, guys. Doesn't that smell incredible? 
Honestly, if I have COVID, it doesn't really affect me too much because I work from home. But at the same time, I would like to have a normal Saturday where I can actually go to Sheets and get my food. And then especially a normal Friday into Wednesday, because what is it, like five days of isolation, something like that. Um, because I like vlogging for my patrons. I like actually getting out of the house, going to Goodwill, thrifting for you guys. It's fun. And of course, seeing the family tomorrow for dinner. But, alright. I'll keep you updated. I am positively negative. Sweet. No COVID for me, which means I get to go to Sheets tonight. I just said in cow, and I'm home. Trust me, it translates perfectly. Oh, and by the way, it's already 9 o'clock p.m. So there's that. I went to Sheets. Yo, I'm going for a long shot. Oh! Now he's like, what was that? Hey, Mal. Hi, little Z. Hi. You're so cute. Mally! I just gave him treats. So don't let them fool you. Yo, I was close. All right. What did I get from Sheets? Guys, I always love the fact that you ask. Sugar-free, G Fuel, energy drink, grape gummies. Very cool. Wisconsin cheese bites. Hold on, I gotta do the litter boxes. Maui sometimes has issues with like going in the litter box if there's already stuff in the litter box and I have a scoop litter box and it's really smelly like poop in, in the uh, litter box. So I'll be right back. Always wash your hands after they're handling pee and poop. Whether it's urine pee and poop, a cat's pee and poop, a giraffe's pee and poop. Pee and poop is pee and poop, guys. Come on, sanitize. Don't be lazy. Don't make me mad. Anyway, tonight's dinner. Oh my God, it's already 9.07. Wisconsin cheese bites. Oh my God, AKA, uh, what's that stupid word people call these? Maui, aim lower, aim lower. There you go. Good boy. He's fine, he's fine. He just, he pees weird. He like always has to pee in the corner of the litter box and he never buries it. He never buries his pee or poop. I don't know why. It's just how he is. <laughs> cheese curds, that's it, cheese curds. What a stupid name. Wisconsin cheese bites, so much better. And I think I got these last week. Well, I got them again, this time with slightly different ingredients. Stuffed nachos, baby. With, let me see, nacho cheese, chili, diced tomatoes, lettuce, and mild pepper rings. Yep, I'm mixing it up with those mild pepper rings. Let's go, baby. Time to eat my food. I'll see you guys when I see you. <laughs> Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. I feel incredibly achy. I, I don't I don't feel very good. I'm not complaining, I'm just letting you know. Just in case I'm not myself. I don't feel good either. Hey Belle. It appears. So mom's test, her COVID test, the one I gave her. Thanks, mom, for taking my COVID test. I gave you one yesterday. Everything's fine. You're Everything's so fine. I gave you one of I'm more. just kidding. Because, giving it back. because now I want to take another one because I ordered more, they'll be here tomorrow. Mom's COVID test isn't done yet, but within the first minute, two lines showed up. And mom feels like crap, right? I have a fever. Dad had it. Day. Dad has it or had it, has it. He was still slightly positive today. Real faint line. I was gonna say, I, I think dad's severe. I think dad's on his way out. Yeah, he is. That I'm, sounds horrible. But you know what I mean. Him. Dad's on his way out. Dad's expiring soon. He definitely feels better than he did. So now mom has it. But you took a COVID test the other day and you didn't have it, right? Correct. Negative. The thing is, I took one yesterday. You guys saw I was negative, but I think I'm gonna be positive because I feel more achy today, and I feel very, very lightheaded. Um, but the show must go on. Thankfully, was... I'm self-employed, so this doesn't really change anything. What? I think it was an expired test that I took. Uh, that matter. I think it does. The one I gave you is new. Right. And it look as yeah. But I don't know. Maybe I don't have it. It might be the flu. Yeah. That's the thing. Stop assuming people have COVID just because you're sick, you know? All right. Jazzy was like, make sure you read the letter. 
Remember, you, you've yelled at me in the past. To David and the Parentals from Jazzy. Just a little something to start your holiday season. Like last year, sending you another little something to add to your tree. I was just going to say, it looks like an ornament. Merry Christmas to Franco fam. Jazzy. Jazzy, thank you very much. Wawa Mama and J Puff. Or Papa Puff, sorry. And David Franco Jr. And then we have some gifts right here. So, how about you open your card first? Can I show you or no? Yeah. Okay. Be warned, guys. Mom is not trying today. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't feel good. Hi, kitties. Yeah, I had a busy day today. Hi. Hi. Oh, I love this card already. Look it's at those snowman. pants. Look, it's a snow. Stop. There might be children. No, I like them. More winter wishes. Merry Christmas, Dwala Mama, Papa Puff. Thank you for your entertainment and David's vlogs. I can always count on laughter from the DeFranco household. Laugh out loud. Seriously, y'all are great, and I hope you have a safe, warm loving holiday season cheers kick back and have a relaxing holiday love jazzy thank you thank jazzy you. I've, I've seen that card Isn't before or, or or that graphic here can, can i say close up actually mine mine is probably the same right what i'm assuming so cute. it's marshmallows soaking in a hot chocolate with pretzels spell, and candy corn spell spell marshmallow m-a-r S-C-H-M-E-L-L-O-W. There's no C, Mom. M-A-R-S-H-M-E-L-L-O-W. M-E? M-A-R. M-E. Hold on. Start over. Go loudly. Go. M-A-R-C-H. No. M-A-R-S-H. Yes. M-E-L-L-O-W. M-A. <laughs> when are people going to learn? It's marshmallow, not marshmallow. Do we say out marshmallow? Phonetically speaking, we, we should say mallow. Right, but we don't. Marshmallow. Sorry guys, I'm just that son. I'm 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 not son that mom's been trying to give up for adoption for years. Nope. But no, no but nope, nobody will have me. Same graphic, sweet. Marshmallow. Warm winter wishes. David, I hate you. That's good. Merry Christmas, David. As always, thank you for your daily and weekly vlogs, patron. For your amazing Wait. patrons. Did you fart? No. Or did the cats it poop? Poop. Smells Somebody terrible. Just sitting there. Or maybe Jazzy sprayed fart spray on this. <laughs> um, then Jazzy says, I, I love I love how I've made great friends from your community. This is true. This is true. Keep your positivity up and enjoy this holiday season. Oh, and keep those fry gasms going. Oh, I will, baby. I might <laughs> I might hit at McDonald's tomorrow if I'm healthy. Uh kick back and have a relaxing holiday. Love Jazzy. She was standing up on the Fart. That smells terrible. Somebody obviously pooped. Fun fact, the uh, reason cat poop smells so terrible is because their their systems don't break down proteins. I was just going to say protein. Um, ah, it's, 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 it's a lot of protein you sitting in their, you make this their bodies. You, you make um, this that smells horrible. <laughs> I can't smell. We should get Ready? smell. I can't Me smell. first or you first? Me. I can't smell. Wait, that's for you? You sure? That's for you. Oh, and your tree is out too. Not yet. Oh well, my God. And out and out up. Is, so cool. is that whipped cream? Sweet. So, wait, didn't we say we like this? I think so. I that's forget what we said we liked at Walmart. That's gotta be from Walmart. That is so that's so cool. Cool. Very cool. I love it. Thank you, Jazzy. And it's funny. I'm trying to do a yeah, red can, and white. Can we get a close up? I'm trying to do a red and white theme on my new tree this year. So that'll fit perfect. Very cool, Mom. Bye. Thank you, Jazzy. I want to see what yours is. I say it's Fireball. It's gotta be video game related. Probably an NES controller, mm -hmm. which I already have, I think, but... They'll slip in your shoes. Don't take her. You can never have... She smells her brothers and sisters. Good. I'm not going to look at it. Do you think she smells her brothers and sisters? Oh, I looked at it. Ooh. Wanted. Oh, the wow. Wet Bandits. Oh, nice. That's cool. That's cool. Home Alone, Home baby. Alone. I love it. Thank Casey you so much, know. Jazzy. In case you didn't notice from Home Alone. Decoration use only, not a toy. Yep, Home Alone 1. Very Thank cool. Thank you, Jazzy. Thank you, Jazzy. I, I, I think I'm going to watch Home Alone on stream. Very Thank you so much, Jazzy. Nice. I appreciate it. And I hope you have a great holiday yes. season as well. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm going to get rid of this. And a happy new year. Crazy. You filthy animal. What? <laughs> I see what you did there. I said I'm going to get rid of the poop that's driving me crazy. Mom, three minutes until we check your COVID tests. Which we already know. Mom probably has. I guess it already showed two lines. I don't think I have it. Maybe. I'll find out tomorrow. Yeah, Actually, I think I'm gonna swing by Target tomorrow and get another COVID test just because. Um, and then I'll go check home and dates. isolate myself, I promise. Check what? Dates. I will. I'm, I'm gonna check the dates this time. Just wear a mask. That's what 
sad, my dude. Target, target, target. That's true. Maybe I should start wearing a mask again. Just if we had to go out. Just Gotta be responsible. Just if we had to go out. Yeah. All right, Jazzy, thanks so much. Thank you, Jazzy. I appreciate you. Um, and stay tuned because, guys, don't forget, this year's Countdown to Christmas 2023 video series is brought to you by Jazzy because she was nice enough to get me that advent calendar. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Fun. And I'm home. Yeah. You see all those boxes? Christmas tree, Christmas tree, Christmas tree. And, of course, Christmas ornaments. I did not plan on doing my Christmas trees tonight, at least one of them. Um, I planned on doing it Wednesday before Thanksgiving, you know, to kind of wrap these pages only. A block of tea block, you know, in the... No, but seriously, um, I think I'm going to do my main Christmas tree tonight. Now, normally, it goes over here, right? Because I like it to be in front of the window, but it's kind of a tight space with the gifts. So this year, I'm thinking of moving this furniture out. Chucky and Tiffany are taking a break. It's... No offense, they're not Christmas related. I can't, I can't say it too loudly because if I say something that Chucky doesn't agree with, then well, I'll try to hurt me in my sleep. I mean, he's done it once already. Um, what do you mean, boy? No, but seriously, guys, this stuff's coming out of here, and I'm pretty sure my Christmas tree is going to go here this year, so it's going to look great. Um, and I'm going to get that set up while previewing this weekend of Lockety Block. Normally I go to Rudders, guys, but I just did not feel like stopping. I am out of it. I'm tired. I'm dizzy. I feel kind of achy on and off. It's, it's, it's weird. It's like sometimes I feel achy, sometimes I don't. I don't know. But the fact that my mom and dad both have COVID, that means there's a very high chance that I have COVID as well. And I'm going to go to Target tomorrow, responsibly, of course, and just buy a test, get my lunch, and then come home. And uh, do a test. Who knows? Maybe I don't have COVID. You know? I mean, it could be a bad cold. It could be the flu. Because I can't even tell you the last time I had the flu. Uh, so, we'll see. But either way, I ain't too worried about it, you know? Because I'm not one of those dramatic people, you know, who gets sick and thinks the world is ending. I don't know. I'm a pretty chill guy. Plus, it's my sister to stay home and just get some work done. But alright, tonight I will be working on the Christmas trees. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is the last weekend vlog before Thanksgiving. Guys, have a great Thanksgiving. Please. Never forget, Thanksgiving is every single day in my eyes. But it is nice to have one day where we just kind of universally come together and just be thankful for everything and everyone we have in our lives. And I realize it's not in the UK and whatever, but here in America, it's a big, big deal. And plus, it's the official start to the holiday season, also known as Christmas. My favorite holiday by far. So guys, I'm just getting started. Stay tuned for a ton of Christmas content, but for now, I must go. I got some work ahead of me. I gotta edit you guys. And well, hopefully get some rest. Thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace.